Hey, it's Nate Cheddar and Blake Angelos from Yamaha here at Sweetwater to show you the Reface DX. Introduced in 1983, the Yamaha DX7 was one of the best-selling synthesizers in history. In fact, it was the first polyphonic, real truly polyphonic synthesizer that I think I owned. You know, the DX7 was used by virtually everybody in the 80s, and it kind of defined the sound of synthesis in that time. It was on everything. Um, and it was, it's, it was just an amazing keyboard for the time. FM, by the way, stands for frequency modulation. Yeah, FM was the type of synthesis that was used in the DX. And before the DX, synthesizers typically would make their sound by starting with a, a complex sounding waveform and then filtering it out or subtracting from the sound. This was known as, and is still known as, subtractive synthesis. Well, with the DX, it approached it kind of from the opposite way, where it starts with a, a bunch of very simple wave waveforms and just to simplify the matter because it's very uh, very complex it adds them together to make a very complex very dynamic waveform we call this additive synthesis so it's not one isn't better than the other or there's you know there's it's it's just a different way to uh, make synthesizer type sounds and the, the DX like you said was very popular in the 80s because it brought a very new sound to synthesizers the thing about the DX that was that was it was cool is that it was as far as finding sounds, they made it very easy to use. You could just select sounds. It was a programmable synthesizer, digital synthesizer. It's very cool. But as far as editing goes, it was uh, it took a little bit of, uh, of of brain power to really fully understand what was going on and and edit it. Well, with the reimagined Reface DX, we've taken the power and the sound of FM, but we've made it much easier to get to with some really cool real-time controls. Yeah, that's one of the really cool things about Reface DX and the reimagination of uh, the original DX. Um, and I think the the really cool thing is this new multi-touch control panel that you have now. So you have access to four parameters. And the way these work is you can you can tap to change parameters or you can actually grab them and use them like sliders. You can flick uh, values up. So you can access a, a, a bunch of different parameters at once and you can just experiment with the sound simply by moving your fingers and, and trying different things. And that was one thing the DX didn't have. It was very one at a time, data entry this, parameter that, and it was very confusing. But with Reface DX, it's very easy to explore and, and, and uh, check out the sounds and interact with them in ways you haven't been able to do previously. It's a very cool thing. And you know, the, the, the sound of the DX7 was always you know, associated with, with this kind of a sound. The DX7 electric piano sound. But nowadays, people can use the power of FM and really create some really cool sounds that are really useful in things like trance or or drum and bass or dubstep or any other kind of EDM style music. Yeah, dubstep for example, the sort of wobble type yeah. bass. Well, there's wobble FM style basses that are very aggressive sounding. <laughs> It has a built-in wub wub dubstep type thing um, in it. So that's just you know one example. So another example of kind of an EDM type sound or a modern aggressive sound uh, is this one is called Modem Lee. <laughs> And like we were talking about before, we can interact with it. So if I hit any of these FM quick edit buttons, I can, I can interact with the sound, change it, do all sorts of different, different things. And when I like it, I can store it. The, DX, or the Reface DX has voice memory that you can load and recall your patches. Another thing is the pads. Very lush, cool pads. FM's really capable of generating some really, really amazingly beautiful sounds as well. 
Yeah, and the sounds can evolve a lot. It has very sophisticated, what we call envelope generators that shape the sound um, and let it evolve into these sort of soundscapes that are always moving, always changing. Uh, another great thing that FM was known for is the kind of bell-like tones, uh, subtractive synthesis that we were talking about earlier. It, it wasn't a strength of it to get sort of bell-like tones, although it could do it, but uh, FM synthesis was really good at it. We have these really nice long decays. Very glassy sounding, very bright. It's really cool. One of the things that I love too is is the uh, the effect button that's on the front. My DX7 didn't have any built-in effects, and having just some nice delays, reverbs. Uh, there's a phaser. There's the wah effect, I believe. Um, all sorts of, this, of of really cool effects that are built into it. Yeah, you have two different effects, and you can run them however however you want. They both have the same programs in each, but you could actually run a reverb into a distortion. Usually, that's right. something that's you're not able to do. But with Reface DX, if that's the sort of sound you want, you can do that. Uh, one final cool feature on Reface DX is the integrated looper. So with the looper, you can record different musical phrases and you can overdub and edit the sound while it's playing back. Uh, it's real easy to use, you just... And now if I wanted to add something over the top... And the cool thing is I can change, I can audition different sounds until I get the one I like. So that's a little bit of the looper, and that's the Reface DX from Yamaha. If you have any questions, please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer.